announced a potential breakthrough this morning for millions of Americans affected by Alzheimer's. A new antibody treatment for the disease could slow the progression of cognitive decline by 27 percent. Here to explain this major development is CNN chief medical correspondent and author of Keep Sharp, Build a Better Brain at Any Age, mm. Dr. Sanjay Gupta. Sanjay, this is so important to talk about because past, you know, past medications have improved cognition perhaps, but not that much. This is a big number. If this holds up, if this data holds up, and so far we've just heard from the, the manufacturers, the pharmaceutical companies themselves, but if it holds up, it could be a very big deal in the world of Alzheimer's. Because as you say, there's not been a significant treatment uh, that has had this degree of uh, improvement in these patients really in a long time, if ever. So l let me sort of talk you through this. It's a, it's a new drug. It's something that people have been watching for some time. Lakenumab is the name of the drug. They basically had 1,800 people they had early stage Alzheimer's. Uh, part of the group got this drug, the other group got placebo. And what they found after about 18 months, Brianna, was that there was a significant decline in overall cognitive uh, um, worsening in the, in the group that got the drug. So this is, this is the thing. This is what people have been looking for for some time now. We know people with Alzheimer's, they continue to progress in terms of cognitive decline. If this could slow that down, uh, that's significant. Now, a couple things. The way that they measure this, this cognitive decline, they ask questions about memory, about orientation, about problem solving. Uh, when you see 27%, you may say, well, that doesn't seem like that big a number, but in terms of your overall function, your ability to function in your everyday life, it can make a big difference uh, for somebody who has early stage Alzheimer's in terms of how well they can function, perhaps even independently or you know, in a home setting. So that would be a big deal. The other thing, and this is going to be a big topic of discussion as well, was that when you looked at this drug, it did seem to have an effect on these plaques in the brain. Um, a lot of people have heard this, the amyloid plaques and their association with the, the disease Alzheimer's. What they found was that there was a decrease in those plaques that you see on the right side of your screen there. Now, whether those two things are directly connected or not is still unclear. Because as you correctly point out, Brianna, there have been drugs in the past which were very good at getting rid of those plaques, but didn't do as much in terms of stalling or slowing cognitive decline. This drug seems to do both. So again, it's early in terms of actually collecting this data. It hasn't been put in a journal yet. FDA has got to weigh in on this. It's now uh, been, been put forward for accelerated approval, but it could be a very big deal if it all holds, Brianna. Yeah, I know we need more data, but let's hope that this is something to be very excited about. Sanjay, thank you for walking us through it.